like Portuguese. No. What no, is I don't know. Janitor is a person who uh, is responsible for keeping a determined building, uh, like cleaning, fixing stuff. Do you know, let me, let me show you some picture because maybe by looking at a picture, it gets clearer for you. Okay. It's a different kind of occupation that we have in Brazil, but it's, um, in, in the United States, it's a little more. They, these people, they have more responsibilities. Yes. Yes. Okay, so janitor, just as you can see, it's somebody who generally keeps a building in place. So we have janitors in hospitals, office, buildings, okay? Okay. Yes, these are the janitors. In Brazil, janitors are also the people who are at the doors of buildings and they watch people coming in and coming out. Yeah. You know, like porteiro. Yes. Okay, so janitor is a person responsible to organize a building or a place or an institution. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this word is going to be important for this dialogue we're going to listen. Check it out. Talk about a mess in the dorm. Have you been downstairs to the dorm kitchen? No, I stayed up all night doing my projects and just came back from my class. What's up with the kitchen? Well, I just went down there to heat up some soup and I was surprised to see the mess. You should have seen the greasy dishes and leaky faucets and the trash can that is never empty. The university should hire a janitor for the dorm. I mean, if the students can't do it, there should be someone to assume the responsibility. Yeah, you're right, but maybe it'll cost a lot of money. I heard that the student committee is always worrying about the tight budget. I don't think they could afford to pay for a janitor. Then if the dorm administrator can't afford the money, what about making students assign the chores? If we make a schedule to check off what is done and what is not, it'll be much better. Then we don't have to stand the mess. The two students give two possible solutions for the dorm kit. And... <laughs> Did you get okay. it? Uh, a little. Can uh, I read the, I listen again? Oh, okay, let's do this. Oh, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to prepare. I'd like you to answer in 60 seconds. And then I tell you, oh, no, no, let's listen again. Oh, no, you got it, okay? <laughs> okay. okay? 20 seconds to prepare. Helena, please answer. Uh, in the universe, there, uh, there is a mess in the kitchen, and uh, they have to solve this problem, and uh, they try to call the janitor, and uh, the one solution is to change the schedule of the students to, to improve this place and clean this place. So, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do you know what's the meaning of dorm? No. I a dormitorio? Yeah. Uh, I I I listen door. Ah, okay, okay. Listen again. Of the assignment covers the term. For these reasons, the woman should give a writing assignment. Okay. Practice three. Now listen to two students as they talk about a mess in the dorm. Have you been downstairs to the dorm kitchen? No, I stayed up all night doing my projects and just came back from my class. What's up with the kitchen? Well, I just went down there to heat up some soup and I was surprised to see the mess. You should have seen the greasy dishes and leaky faucets 
and the trash can that is never empty. The university should hire a janitor for the dorm. I mean, if the students can't do it, there should be someone to assume the responsibility. Yeah, you're right. But maybe it'll cost a lot of money. I heard that the student committee is always worrying about the tight budget. I don't think they could afford to pay for a janitor. Then, if the dorm administrator can't afford the money, what about making students assign the chores? If we make a schedule to check off what is done and what is not, it'll be much better. Then we don't have to stand the mess. The two. And now. And now. Hmm. A little more. <laughs> Okay, what do you believe to be the problem? The problem there is a mess in the dorm. Yes, but not exactly in the dorm. Uh, in the kitchen? No. Yeah. Yes, and because the the trash is empty. It's not empty. Okay, and what about the two solutions? Uh, the woman said to pay a janitor. Uh huh. But uh, uh, have spend spend money. Uh huh. Um, and uh, the other solution is to. Make a schedule. Ah, uh, uh, oh yeah. With mm. what? Uh, with the students. Oh yes, that's it. That's it. Okay, twenty seconds to prepare. Now, Anna, please answer. Um, there is a big mess in the kitchen at the university. So, to solve the solution, the woman said uh, they have to pay a janitor to clean, to help to clean the, this place. And after, uh, and another solution is to make a schedule with the students to keep on the place. In my opinion, I think uh, it's the bad, better choice It's make a schedule with the students because the students have to, the students have to uh, have a responsibility about the place and clean by themselves. So I think it's best to organize this place and keep on cleaning the university and the kitchen. <laughs> Very good! Excellent answer! Oh my God. Excellent answer. <laughs> you would get the highest grade in this answer. Oh my Excellent. God. Excellent. Excellent answer. Do you record? Do you record? Yes, it's recording. I can watch with my mom. Excellent, Anna. Yes. Wow. Very good, very good, very good. Awesome. <coughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. Part two. Practice four. Now listen to a conversation between two students. Hey, Julie, how are things with you? I'm doing okay, except for one thing. What is that? Well, I want to take the French Revolution course for the summer. But I have to take care of my sister's new baby. I've been dying to take this course for so long, but I didn't know that she needed someone to help her with her baby. I don't know what to do. 
Hmm. Why don't you just take the course next semester? I'm sure that course will be offered again next semester. Yeah, I've thought about that too, but I don't know who'll be teaching that course next semester. This summer course is taught by Professor Johnson, who is the most influential professor in our French department. Then why don't you ask your sister to find someone from her neighborhood or even her friend? I'm sure there'd be people who could help her out. I hear your point, but I think my sister would be disappointed if I turned her down. Okay. Okay, I think I get one solution. Uh, oh, oh, let's try. Let's try. 20 seconds to prepare. Now, please answer, Anna. Uh, the professor has a problem because the about the summer class because the other teacher had a baby and uh, she didn't have uh, somebody to help her. Uh, so the solution the is the to call to another friend or neighbor to help the teacher. Uh, but I think uh, it can be a good solution because if somebody uh, can, say, can stay a little hours with the baby, the professor uh, will be give the class. But uh, I don't know if, uh, there, there are uh, friends to, to take care of their the baby. Okay, okay, yeah. Not exactly. Okay. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> un poco. Listen again. Practice four. Now listen to a conversation between two students. Hey, Julie, how are things with you? I'm doing okay, except for one thing. What is that? Well, I want to take the French Revolution course for the summer, but I have to take care of my sister's new baby. I've been dying to take this course for so long, but I didn't know that she needed someone to help her with her baby. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Why don't you just take the course next semester? I'm sure that course will be offered again next semester. Yeah, I've thought about that too, but I don't know who will be teaching that course next semester. This summer course is taught by Professor Johnson, who is the most influential professor in our French department. Then why don't you ask your sister to find someone from her neighborhood or even her friend? I'm sure there'd be people who could help her out. I hear your point, but I think my sister would be disappointed if I turned her down. Okay, it's different. <laughs> okay now? I think it's okay. Okay. 20 seconds to prepare. Now, Anna, please answer. They student uh, wants to do a summer class about French uh, because the professor is excellent for her. So he, she has to take care of your ba baby of your sister uh, and it's a problem for her. The, uh, the man said that he, she, will be the next semester or to find another people to help uh, her to take care of the baby. In my opinion, I think the she can uh, do the next semester. Even the professor will change, but uh, the, the woman can learn 
uh, the French and uh, don't lost the course for her. Okay. Uh, okay. Very good. Now you really got the two solutions. Okay. Now Anna, there there are some things uh, important. It's a French Revolution course. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. And you said uh, she has to take care of your sister's baby. If you're saying your, and you're talking about me. Uh, okay. What? How do you say o neném da irmã dela? The the baby of her sister. Or, better put, her sister's birth baby. Uh, uh, okay. I have a problem with this. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't worry. It's all about practice. But pay attention. His or her. Okay. It's a revolution. Revolution French. French Revolution. French Revolution. The yeah. course. Yeah. Uh, okay. I lost the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, then you said a sentence like, she will be the next semester. But what you wanted to say, vai ter no semestre seguinte. How do you say this in English? Uh, it will be, it, it will be closer. The next semester. Not exactly. How do you say, uh, how do you say in, in, in It will have. Uh, listen to this. How do you, this is very important. There is an expression in English that is the same as exists. That is, there oh, is. There is, there are. There yeah. Are. So, how do you say, for example, the sentence, tem dois meninos na sala? There are two boys in the Yes, room. yes, exactly. So, now, Anna, what's the past of there is and there are? There was, there was, there were. Excellent, exactly. And so, how there you... will be. Exactly. You oh, yeah. said me on the on the, the last class. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there will be. Okay. Yeah. So there will be next semester, and not she will be. Okay. Will be. Okay. Yes. Uh, she can do the next semester. Okay. I think she can do next semester. Now there is a language that it's very good for question number five. That's when we use should. Do you understand should, then? Mm, yes. Yes. Try using should in, in number five because it's the language for advice. Okay? Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, we have after, so after you can uh, tell the, for, for me, the answer, answer for me. Sure, sure. Oh. Expressions for advices. Advices. Should had better. Do you know this expression here? Mm, no. Okay. Oh. This is an advert uh, counsel, for example. You'd better sleep more. You mm. can have problems with it. Generally had better is not as strong as should. Should, in general, it's because there will be negative consequences. Okay. If you don't say, for example, you should sleep more. You are very sick. You know, uh, so, so in, in should, it's stronger. You should sleep more. Had, you'd better, it's not necessarily you don't necessarily have bad consequences. Okay. You don't necessarily. So you better sleep more. It's a suggestion. You know, and I think you sleep too little. You better sleep more. Okay? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Now, should no. Should implies negative consequences. This is, this is good language for question number five. Okay? Okay. Uh, I'm going to answer for you, Kim. 
check the timing that I try to do. I will try to give the problem into solutions until uh, 30 seconds. You chose her to take next semester, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm going to choose to find someone else to take care of the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to choose her to be? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, now. The woman's problem is that she wants to take a French Revolution course that she has wanted for a long time, but her sister has had a baby and requires her to help her with the baby. Her friend gives her two solutions. Take the course for the next semester or find someone else to take care of her sister's baby. In my opinion, I believe the best choice is to take the course this semester. First of all, because this course might impact her professionally all her life and she doesn't know about that. So it's very important that she takes that course with a very good professor. Secondly, because although some other people is going to take care of her sister's baby, it doesn't mean that she can't visit her, her niece from time to time. So I think she should take the course. You see, you see how I've, I ended. So I think she should take yeah. the course. Uh, uh, it's a, an advice, you know? Okay. I don't believe a word of what I just said. She has to drop everything and help her sister. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you see that I tried to speak uh, less time of the problem into solutions fast. Yeah. And then to talk about my opinion. And when I come to my opinion, I just, you know, I just informate, you know, I just, it doesn't exist, okay, Anna. I just jibber jabber. <laughs> it's the expression in. Right for me. Jibber jabber, yeah, sure. <laughs> there are some other expressions. I think there are many expressions for this. <laughs> jibber jabber. Let me see if there are, what are the the synonyms. Oh, it's with J, sorry, jibber jabber. Yeah, I think small talk. small talk to <laughs> a light conversation about an important or uncontroversial matter you know so it's when you're speaking about something but you're speaking about nothing <laughs> you know <laughs> that's the thing small talk. <laughs> small talk excellent excellent even so Anna it was a good answer you wouldn't get the highest grade but it was a good answer Okay. Okay. Let's go. Move on. Here you are. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is a little difficult. Parkimeter. Oh my God. Do you know parkimeter? No. Um, is it just parkimeter? I don't know how to write this then. Parkimeter is. Meter. Yes, it's park meter. Uh, it's uh, um, when you um, when you park in some places, you find a park meter that you have to pay for a little fee to stay parked to for your car to stay there parked. Okay, this is a park meter. Oh, so the okay. person to park here, the person has to come to this park meter pay for a fee, put the paper in her car, in his or her car, to show how much time he or she has to stay there. Okay. In, uh, in, in Belo Horizonte, it's common. Yeah. And in many universities in the United States, it is necessary for you to pay for the parking lot. Okay? Okay. Because to understand this part, you need to understand this. 
And that British guy is here. Listen. <laughs> I, I hate him. And take care of her sister's baby. Practice five. Now listen to a conversation between two students. Oh, great. Why? What's wrong? I'm running out of coins. Well, today my sister invited me to her school play because she is playing one of the main characters there. She even left her keys last night so that I could use her car. But the problem is parking. I forgot about bringing coins for the parking meter. Now what should I do? Say, why don't you just ask a stranger? I'm sure there'll be someone generous enough to understand your situation and lend you some coins. But who would I ask here on campus? There are only a few students today, and I see no one here near the theater. Then what about parking your car somewhere there's no parking meter? But what if I get caught by the police and get a parking ticket? Well, I don't think there will be police as it's almost eight at night. And who knows, maybe you'll be lucky enough not to get caught by the school police. Okay, I guess I have no alternative. <laughs> I think the guy is Brazilian. <laughs> oh my god. He did a Brazilian ad there in the Anna, could you understand the two solutions? This is a hard one. Okay, I'm going I, to I did it. understand. Okay, <laughs> if you understand the second. I think it's, I always laugh. I think it's very funny. Listen again. It's five. Now listen to a conversation between two students. Oh, great! Why? What's wrong? I'm running out of coins. Well, today my sister invited me to her school play because she is playing one of the main characters there. She even left her keys last night so that I could use her car. But the problem is parking. I forgot about bringing coins for the parking meter. Now what should I do? Say, why don't you just ask a stranger? I'm sure there'll be someone generous enough to understand your situation and lend you some coins. But who would I ask here on campus? There are only a few students today and I see no one here near the theater. Then what about parking your car somewhere there's no parking meter? But what if I get caught by the police and get a parking ticket? Well, I don't think there will be police as it's almost eight at night. And who knows, maybe you'll be lucky enough not to get caught by the school police. Okay. I guess I have no alternative. Describe. No. <laughs> ah, it's difficult to understand what he said. Oh, okay, what did you get? What's her problem? Uh, the, uh, the woman uh, don't have coins to pay oh, the... Doesn't? Doesn't have, doesn't have uh, coins uh -huh. to pay the park meter. Excellent. That's the problem and the two solutions. Um, is it? Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. To call the police. Not call the police. Oh. Uh, she said that the, there aren't uh, students there. Um, I didn't get. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is very hard. This is very hard. Oh. In Tofu, the this man. No, never. This never. This is harder than Tofu. In my opinion, this practice is harder than Tofu. Oh, great, great. You know. Okay. Oh, uh, let's. I'm going to help you. A conversation between two students. Oh, great! Why? What's wrong? I'm running out of coins. Well, today my sister invited me to her school play because she is playing one of the main characters there. She even left her keys last night so that I could use her car. But the problem is parking. I forgot about bringing coins for the parking meter. Now what should I do? Say, why don't you just ask a stranger? Say, why don't you just ask a stranger? Say, why don't you just ask a stranger? <laughs> Say, why don't you just ask a stranger? Do you understand this? 
Ask a Stranger? <risos> uhum. Pedir para o estranho. Ah, tá, literalmente. Ô, <risos> oh, dá uma dia aí. <risos> Homeless. <risos> yes, yes. Uh, listen. I do. Say, why don't you just ask a stranger? I'm sure there'll be someone generous enough to understand your situation and lend you some coins. But who would I ask here on campus? There are only a few students today, and I see no one here near the theater. Then what about parking your car somewhere there's no parking meter? Pass water. Then what about parking your car somewhere there's no parking meter? Do you understand this? But what about parking your car somewhere where there is no parking meter? Listen. No the theater. Then what about parking your car somewhere there's no parking meter? What about parking your car somewhere? There is no parking meter. Do you understand this? Uh, after you said? Yes. yes. Now listen to him. But what if I get caught by the police and get a parking ticket? What if I get caught by the police and get a parking ticket? In the man. Well, I don't think there will be police as it's almost eight at night. And who knows? Maybe you'll be lucky enough not to get caught by the school police. <laughs> Maybe you will be lucky enough not to get caught by the school police. Ana, é proibido estacionar onde não tem parquímetro. Ele falou, ah, e ele tá falando pra mim. onde não tem parquímetro, que às vezes a polícia não vê. Ah, não, eu, eu, eu acho que ele é brasileiro. Com certeza. <risos> Os caras é britânico, não. Não é, não. Não. Ah, estaciona lá, ó. não tem polícia, não. Né? Se vier a polícia, você dá um migué. É muito brasileiro. <risos> Ana, I would like you to try and answer this one here, ok? Ok. 20 seconds to prepare. Now, please answer. Uh, the woman parked uh, his sister sister's car, but uh, she doesn't have uh, coins to pay. Uh, the man said the solution she can ask an I strange, or she will maybe she will park the the car where no have a parkimeter in the place. In my opinion, I think it's the be better choice is ask I strange uh, because sometimes some people uh, will ha would help uh, um, a student because the people can uh, realize the situation and give some coins to her pay and uh, live with uh, her sister car uh, in this situation. Okay, okay. Repeat please, stranger. Stranger. Yeah, okay. Strange is estranho. Like an adjective. Oh my God, this book is so strange. Now, stranger is a person. Ah, okay. Okay? And, oh, or she could park in a place where no have parking meter. Uh -uh. Say the sentence again. Where don't have parking uh -uh. meter. Doesn't have parking uh -uh. meter. Ah, this. Uh, where <laughs> there there isn't parking yeah! meter. <laughs> Vou ficar falando o dia inteiro. There is there, or there will, there will be, or there will be. <risos> yes, Ana. Because you have to use there is, there are. Yeah. You cannot use have in this situation. Ok? Ok. 
Anyway, Anna, you did very well in question number five. Uh, it's all we're going to have to practice. In general, in TOEFL, we're not going to have this mean, 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 mean. Okay, and in our schedule, I'm going to, to put that question five is done. So okay. next class, we're going to start question number six. Okay. Okay. And question number six, in my opinion, is harder. Uh, you said. Mm. Yeah, so probably um, we're going to stay two or three classes in it. Okay. Yeah. And teacher, what about the schedule? Schedule. Did, did you check with your another yes, student? Yes, I still need him to answer. I think uh -huh. it's, just, it's because he's a very busy man. Okay. And probably we're going to have a class this Friday. Probably just Friday he's going to answer me. Ah, okay, no problem. You know? Let's have time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, Anna, so next class we start question six, then we go to the writing section, and after the writing, we're going to do mock tests every week. Okay? okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Born to be wise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good because I, I will already give you your estimation of grades. Uh, okay. Okay, and tell you, and I think you need to to practice more listening. Oh, you have to write more. No, no, let's speak more. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you said that you, you can send me a a software. I don't know to yeah. try. Yeah, I will do. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. In fact, uh, sure. Send me a message this weekend so that I can remember to send you this weekend. Okay. 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 So, Anna, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Yeah. See you Monday? Yes, Monday. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.